In this tutorial, we shall familiarize ourselves with tie constraints. Tie constraints are surface-based constraints. They can be used to simulate two parts stuck together or fused together, whether it be with adhesives, rivets, fasteners, welds, or other methods. The tie does not model the actual mechanism of the sticking, just the fact that it exists. Each node on the slave surface is constrained to have the same motion as the node on the master surface to which it is closest, so that their translational degrees of freedom are constrained and possibly their rotational degrees of freedom as well. The tie can transfer mechanical loads, temperatures, pore pressures, acoustic pressures, or electrical potential, just as if the two parts really were fused together. Tie constraints also allow dissimilar meshes to meet each other. When you mesh different regions of a part with different mesh sizes or densities, Abacus automatically generates tie constraints between the mesh surfaces. This allows easy mesh refinement with rapid changes in mesh densities. We will demonstrate tie constraints using a sandwich structure. A sandwich structure consists of two plates with a web or core sandwiched between them. Generally, the plates are very thin with a thick core, but in this demonstration we won't focus on their dimensions, but rather on the process of using tie constraints. We shall refer to the plates as the top layer and bottom layer, and the core as the core layer. The plates of a sandwich structure can be fixed to the core using adhesives, welds, fasteners, or other methods. In this example, we do not wish to model the adhesive, fastener, or weld, just the fact that the surfaces are constrained together. The tie constraint will be ideal for our purposes. The dimensions of the parts are displayed in the figure. They are in SI units with length in meters. The wall thickness for the core cells is 0.04 meters, meaning that the distance between the holes and also the distance between the holes and the edge of the layer is 0.04 meters. All three parts are made of AISI 1005 steel with a density of 7800 kilograms per meter cubed, a Young's modulus of 200 gigapascals, and a Poisson's ratio of 0.29. All three layers of the sandwich structure will be fixed at one end, making it a cantilever. A uniform pressure load of 10 newtons per meter squared, or 10 pascals, will be applied on the top surface, causing the structure to bend downwards. Let's proceed with the demonstration.